D is a social media addict, hiker, weekend remodeler, horsewoman, entrepreneur, recovering perfectionist, mountain bike lover, clumsy goofball, and real estate broker. <laughs> well, not necessarily in that order, someone just said. <laughs> Welcome, D. So, I tend to sell houses that are slightly larger than 250 square feet, but I like the idea. I think that's a niche to look into. Um, so I am a residential real estate broker here in Northern Colorado, and um, I would like to share with you the top 10 ways not to sell your house. And I did not use any examples from the local community, so as nobody think I'm talking about them. So as we know, moving can be dangerous. <laughs> It is a struggle. It's like the ultimate Tetris game and none of your shapes fit right. It can be really tough. Um, and it takes time, unfortunately. And lately, our sellers don't have much of that. We have seen a huge change in our market and it means that things are selling fast. And so sellers are scrambling to try and figure out how to get their houses packed up and moved. So I thought I would try and address the problem and uh, give you 10 surefire ways to uh, avoid having it sell. This way it can stay available but ignored for as long as possible. So the first tip is make sure it is absolutely impossible to get to. <laughs> Plant some bushes that have some large thorns, water a lot, throw away your gardening shears. If they can't see it, they can't buy it. The second thing is to install some good home security. <laughs> Just explain to Fido that a realtor with a badge is just as tasty as the FedEx man and you'll be set. <laughs> now we all know how easy Fido gets distracted. Fall. <laughs> so just as a backup, look into some special forces. Cats have that laser focus and they're really great for the job. That is, as long as you don't actually have a laser pointer because then it's hopeless. <laughs> so step three is to do it yourself. It's always good to do some repairs right before you get a house on the market. And duct tape is a magical, magical thing. It is sure to last at least as long as your house is for sale. So use it liberally. The next is to get artsy. Art shows your sophisticated side. Naked art is even better. Now, if you can work naked art into your home decor, that is sure to leave a lasting impression. Step five is to uh, really get into the smell of things. We've all heard that smell is a good attractant, and so you want to show them what that true lived-in quality is of a house. I think the air freshener chandelier is my favorite. Now, Facebook has taught us that people really want to know everything about you. So let it all out. Let them see what makes you tick. Or, you know, what makes you squirm, as the case may be. Step seven, ignore all words. You've got a leaky roof, well that can be a water feature. You've got missing walls, that's open floor plan. Just really focus on the positive. Step eight, once we get there, display everything. People love a good thrift store and they love garage sales, so show them how good you are at shopping at both by leaving everything out. This also goes back to the art. Yeah. Number nine, ignore the first offer. Such a good plan. Sure, you found the one person in the world that's gonna love both your smell and your artwork, but if you wait long enough, you can keep it for more money. <laughs> Going back to price, number 10 is price it high just to see. This is always a good plan. This way, none of the realtors will wanna sell it because they'll assume that you're not serious. So it's actually the best one. If you do this, you can skip the other nine and save yourself the trouble. As a bonus, I also love to suggest not using spell check. Garden with decomposition? Well, yes, that sounds lovely. Frosty Glass, I think, was definitely a Fort Collins person. The other is Photoshop. Now, I did this myself to protect the guilty. Um, and if you'll notice the lawn's just a little bit goofy, you see this all the time. And people, if you aren't good at Photoshop, this is a great way to scare people away. So if you do wanna sell, the one tip I have is to call a realtor. It doesn't have to be me, but they'll tell you exactly how to get your house sold and the 10 or maybe more things that you should do to help it get sold fast. 
So we may not be able to help with the whole Tetris confusion, and I don't have a good store of uh, cardboard boxes, but we will help you get it sold, get it moved, and with any luck, you'll be scrambling for newspaper wrapping in no time. motorcycle and hurt my elbow, I would do it. <laughs>